Hello, my Cancer friends. Let's see what's coming in for all y'all mid-September. Money, finance, and career is what I aim for, but let's see what message the Divine has for you. <clears throat> we have the Six of Wands, so we have a victory. Good news is on its way. Public recognition or awards being recognized for something. Oh, and another six. Really needing balance in your life. Needing balance between what you're passionate about and what you think. Things are looking up. The end of a difficult situation. Taking a trip. So a victory is coming in. That's nice. We like that. We like the victories. We like moving away from rough waters to calm waters. We like that. Abundance. Things look very good. Have patience at this time and make long-term plans. So there's definitely a need to plan ahead. Maybe there's not been enough communication lately uh, about something. I feel. <clears throat> Tell me about this victory. Good news coming from a distance. Uh, things suddenly move forward. Fortune is on your side. Here we have this uh, communication that is going to move things quickly. Something that's been stale or an absence of whatever. It's really going to start to move forward quickly. Communication coming from a distance. It brings about victory for you. It could be a money thing. It could be someone saying, hey, let's work together on a circumstance or a situation. Perhaps there's been a pitching of an idea to the boss or something about, yeah, pitching of an idea to a boss. Good news coming in about that. It moves something forward quickly. Working together as a team as opposed to Hmm. There's something about enlightened news. I feel like it's uh, coming from the divine, this communication, or perhaps it's just an ingenious idea. <clears throat> More going on here than meets the eye. So you've seen it. You've felt it. You know there's more going on here. Something has happened that brings in good news, but I feel as though there's some sort of deception around it. Uh, you can't see everything that's going on around the circumstance right now. Putting one foot in front of the other and hoping for the best possible outcome. Toxicity. There's some sort of thing that's got you tied or somebody around you is tied to that they need to let go of. Codependency. Always needing to be there. Always needing to hang on. Always needing to be in control. Um, sex, drugs, rock and roll, whatever it is. Take it as it resonates. Someone's got some sort of unhealthy attachment to something. And you're going to have victory over this, this uh, situation here. There is some sort of deception going on about some sort of addiction or... Hmm. It is going to come to light, though, I feel, because things are, a victory is coming and abundance is happening and things are looking up. Things look very good. So there's Page of Wands, news of a creative new endeavor, uh, ingenious ideas. We have some, well, there's your victory, see. We have competition. Can I withstand the competition? I wonder if there's competition. Asking yourself all these questions. There's somebody who's conflicted within, possibly, when this communication comes. I'm going to go in hanged man mode about it to decide exactly what the best way to move forward is. I feel as though there's been some sort of reliance on others and it's time to rely on self. Or there's been too much reliance on self and it's time to rely on others. 
there's a time before you make a decision based on this thing coming in this this uh, passionate new start take time to think about it maybe you need a vacation maybe you need to get away take time to think about which way you want to move what it is you want to do i think you're very conflicted within about about um, hmm, do you have enough clarity on the circumstance there's something that you're healing from is something that caused you great sadness so this new passionate start could bring about some sort of clear um, conflict within perhaps there's healing towards some sort of toxic tie that's been there and it comes back around and back around it comes in for reevaluation all the time it's like it'll never go away important psychic insights and events behind the scenes tied with the devil and the judgment there's some sort of awakening or enlightening where karma is coming in here tell me about what's crowning this reading it's judgment card it's the divine judging all of those who have been in circumstance where they've caused hurt or or whatever karma never loses an address that's what it comes down to <clears throat> and I wish granted something coming in that's going to make you incredibly happy it's almost like as you sit there and watch it unfold it brings you a lot of joy it could be a new start in money finance and career coming in for you tell me about this six of wands I almost feel like someone could have a drinking addiction or drugs something something that's being hidden This good news that comes in about working with someone as a team, it is an absolute victory because it's almost like for now it's a win. I don't know if it's going to be forever, but for now it is. I think there's definite fear and concern about whether it's going to come back around or whether this communication that comes in is actually going to cause a fight or a conflict with others. I feel like you've stuck between a rock and a hard place to a certain extent. Someone sitting there, I hear, see, is someone standing there, she's blonde, long hair, says, why can't we all just be friends? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Uh, have faith and hope because there's something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see yet, so that's exciting. I think someone might be feeling like they're losing something, but they're actually gaining. What do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. So this isn't supposed to happen for me. This isn't supposed to this, that, and the other. It's just not supposed to happen. It's not supposed to come. There's some sort of modicum of patience that's needed. Now is the time to learn, study, and gather information. Enjoy being a student because in the future you will synthesize your knowledge into action. So what... Does the divine want you to keep in mind as we move through this week? What energy is the one to keep in mind? What's the focus? What should the focus be? Healing. Healing. See? Time of healing. After struggle, bless all in need of healing, hope and love. Spirit, grant us strength and wisdom. Guide us to the path of wellness. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, we have humor. The, the letter H might be very prominent in your world laugh at yourself lighten your heart let nothing steal your happiness so it's been a rough time for you it's been a time of trying to deal with many circumstances and many things so mid-september you're going to have a wish granted and a victory coming about which is beautiful and moving away from rough waters into calm waters I feel like someone's also healing this. They've had this toxic idea about karma. And perhaps there's they're healing this uh, disbelief or misconception about what karma is. Or the coming back around of. Time to reevaluate things in order to heal things that have happened. Dearest you, the common saying, be in the world but not of it, and wear the world loosely, refer to the need to be engaged with life while not being attached to specific outcomes. Do not take this world too personally, for you are one of the many co-creators here to play. And we have many ideas about how all of this should play out. Just know 
The outcome doesn't matter as much as the presence you bring to each experience and how you let yourself flow through life. There's a real freedom in knowing and accepting this. So will you wear the world loosely or will you let it straightjacket you? It's your choice. Whatever happens, have the courage to keep trying to live as you're meant to. And when it comes to manifesting, don't worry about the how or even the why. We have that covered. Everything is going to turn out exactly as it should. Spirit has a plan. Loving you always and forever. I love you guys. Blessings to you.